I'll go in with that shade and I will apply it on the outer corner like that. Mm -hmm. And then you see how that just brings back the shade that got lost underneath all those colors. So now that you've seen the eyeshadow look, we're going to start on the foundation. So what I like to do is I just grab it wide and I wipe up anything underneath. And since I've had to remove it, I'm just going to go back in with the primer. I'm just grabbing that. And just apply it underneath the eye again. And then I'll just quickly wipe up anything I have here because you'll realize that throughout you're going to have to wipe your hand because you'll start getting a lot of product. So it's always up to you, depending on the look that you want for foundation. So you have the light coverage, your medium coverage, your full coverage, and you have also your dewy foundations and your matte foundations. And sort of what I tend to go for is if I'm going for a more natural look, I'll go for a more dewy foundation that has like a sheen. And if I'm going for a more dramatic look, I tend to then go in with a matte foundation and that will make it look more full coverage. Yeah. So I tend to mix foundations. It's it's more about like the look that I get when I mix foundations, because then it's not just so now that I feel like I've got the colour I wanted. I'm just going to go in and mix that foundation all together with this brush. And then you can kind of test the foundation to see if you're happy with the colour. And then if you feel happy, you just, I start to, I like to do it like this. I just like to distribute the product around the face. Like that before I blend it because I just feel like I have an equal amount of product throughout the whole face. As opposed to starting in one area and blending from that area. So just applying it everywhere around the face. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna go in with a foundation brush. And this is a dense brush. And I like to use, you always want to use synthetic brushes when you're doing foundation because you'll realize that that creates the least texture on your face. So when you, what happens when you have um, animal hair on your brushes and that is they tend to leave a lot of little lines and that's not what you want in a foundation in particular. So you just always want to go in with a synthetic brush that's quite dense. So with the natural brushes, um, what would they be used for? So they're mostly used, you can use them on foundation, I prefer not to because I don't like the finished look, but I usually would use them, for example, for bronzer, for blush, for eyeshadow, they work quite well, but for actual foundation, I don't feel like they work very well. And if you ever feel like the foundation's too dark, what I tend to do is I like to go one shade up in foundation because I realise that 
once I start to highlight, that brings the shade back down. Mm -hmm. So I always just start off with one shade darker or half a shade darker. And then I work from there. So as you can see, I'm not actually moving the brush along like that because that would just create streaks and it would Oops. separate the foundation. Mm -hmm. So you just want to do it really delicate, delicately and you just want to start pressing down instead. And what you realise is that with a lot of foundation products, concealer, you always want to be dabbing, you never want to be pushing the brush along. And I don't lift the brush up with big spaces like that, you always want to make sure that they're really tiny spaces when you're lifting up the brush. So you barely want to lift, you just kind of want to dab like that. And this will ensure that the foundation is extra flawless. So, for the most part, when you're doing foundation, it's not so much about the foundation it is that you're using, even though that is important. It's more about how you're applying the foundation. So if you have like any foundation left and you feel like you want more coverage in certain areas, you would just apply it. I go ahead and I grab my little sponge and I start dabbing instead. And this will just pick up, you have to make sure that the sponge is wet because that's how you get the flawless application. You want it quite damp, so not wet, but just damp. And if I get any brushes that create any little streaks or anything like that, I just go in with this little sponge. And I also like the sponge right after the foundation because any excess that I don't need or that's laying on top of the skin, the sponge will just go ahead and pick that up for me. 